nothing but that you give it. I have nothing to say but that you put the words in my mouth. I have nothing to do but that you are doing it. I have no reason to be except that you're being. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. It's an honor to be here. Glory to God. Amen. With a, a true son. In the Amen. And we've been, and his lovely wife, and Cindy and I, and we've been, have been through a whole lot together. We've walked, walked through all kinds of things together. The Bible says, Amen. Know them that labor among you. Mm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Know them that labor among you. Um, you can't know somebody from a screen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Watching somebody on a some type of edited program. You don't know them. You don't know that person. You have no idea what they do. You don't know if they go after they've given whatever they call a message, whether they go um, sit down and watch two hours of pornography after that, hmm. which a number of them do. Hmm. My Lord, my Lord. Jesus. Jesus. And that's why it's in your house. Because hmm. you watch somebody you thought was good minister. Hmm. But you don't know them. Hmm. You don't know them. We got required. We listen to the preacher. Glory to God. It takes it takes time to know somebody. You gotta you gotta be around them. See them and you know, be in their home. Be in, it takes time to see if this, what they're saying, is, or are they living what they're saying? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Not, most are. <laughs> most are. All right. Stay with it. My Lord. My Lord. The, the title of what the Lord gave me today is Embrace the Fire. All right. Amen. Amen. All right. Em everybody say, embrace the fire. Embrace the, fire. Embrace the, fire. the fire of God is here today. Yes, yes. 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 And I wonder the Lord doesn't want me to leave the word pornography alone. Mm. Oh. Stay with it. Stay with it. Oh. You can be free of that today if you want to. Mm. You can leave here free as free can be if you want to all right all right if you'll embrace the fire this yeah. day. amen 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 turn to Ezekiel chapter 1 beginning with uh, verse 25 it says a voice came from above the firmament that was over their heads Whenever they stood, they let down their wings. Above the firmament, over their heads, was the likeness of a throne. Now this is Ezekiel. We're not going to read all the, the details of all this. And I don't have my books with me today, but you can, you can get one on our website, DarylMcManus.com. If you want to know about God's throne in detail, then get my book, What You Didn't Know About God's Throne. Let it out of your box. We go into great, God, it's Revelation Knowledge, 13 messages God gave me on his throne. That it moves, it has wheels. There are wheels of fire. The cherubim carry. How to get God's throne to come in your bedroom, come into your house, come into a meeting. Amen. 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 
He's here in this meeting. Amen. Amen. That's why the fire of God is here. Because the Father is here. Amen. He came down. Amen. Because he liked what was going on here today. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He liked what was going on here today. Three keys to successful ministry. All right, let's see. Everybody say, welcome to Holy Spirit. Welcome, welcome to Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Number two, everybody say, make the Holy Spirit comfortable. Make the Holy Spirit comfortable. And then number three is do whatever he says. Do whatever he says. And the quicker the better. You've got to welcome the Holy Spirit. Then you have to make him comfortable. Stay with it. Because if you grieve him, he'll be gone. And then you'll be on your own the rest of the service. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Stay with it. Stay with it. I understand the dove is very easily um, offended, even by people that, that have, have raised them. If you if they if, if they're trained to feed out of your hand, you can trick them one time and they'll never come back. Huh. You offend the Holy Spirit and he will leave. Hmm. Right. And there are places that he's never come back. Huh. All right. What do you have when you have people without the Holy Spirit? You just have a glorified social club. Mm, that's right. Because God's not there. Amen. Wow. Oh, the fire of God is here. Amen. All right. Amen. You say, what? what are you doing? I don't know. Because I don't, it's hard to yes. contain. Yes. Yeah. 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 I can't. Don't want to. Yeah. Right. Causes my body to do unusual things. Because yeah. right. 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 I'm just in a Woo. body like yours. Yeah. We have this treasure in earth and vessels. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So, back to this. And so this is a vision that Ezekiel, it says that he had a vision, had a vision of God. All right. And by the time that he gets to where the Father is, verse 25, a voice came from above the firmament that was over their heads. Above whose heads? Above these four cherubim's heads. Yeah, yeah. Each one of the cherubim has a wheel that each one of these cherubs are in charge of one of the four wheels to God's throne. All right. And whenever they stood, they let down their wings, verse 26, and above the firmament, over their heads, was the likeness of a throne. All right, all right. In appearance like a sapphire stone. What's the color of sapphire? Blue. What's the hottest color of fire? Blue. You know what color fire is here right now? Blue. You know why? Because his throne is here. Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 103. Now here's the Holy Ghost Augustin again. Stay with it. Changing the play at the moment. That's all right. So we're following him. We'll always follow him. Amen. Can't go wrong. That's right. <laughs> Turn to Psalm 103. Verse 19. I'm in the Amplified Classic, actually, right now. The Lord has established his throne. Everybody say throne. Throne. His throne in the heavens. Heavens is plural. That's the Hebrew, which calls the Hebrew word Shemaim. Everybody say Shemaim. Shemaim is always plural. And, and so if your translation says heaven, that's not correct. Heavens. Everybody say heavens. heavens. Notice it says God has established his throne in the heavens. How many heavens are there? 
three. How do we know? Paul was caught up to the third heaven. If there's a third heaven, there's got to be a first and a second. Since God has established his throne, which is sapphire blue, the hottest color of fire in the heavens. Why the heavens? Because it moves from the first, the second, the third heaven. If God likes something that's going on down here in the first heaven, then he'll come and drive it down here. Yeah. Like he did to this morning. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Isn't that good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good to know. But he'll come down in your secret place. Yes, yes. yes. If you have one. Yeah. 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 Mm. Come on. Mm. Oh, oh, Amen. Am I got something here to lose? Right. Am I okay? Yeah. Am I good? All right. Yeah, you good. Stay with it. All right. All right, Lord. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm getting the download. <laughs> All right. Amen. All right. <laughs> All right, turn to Matthew six. Hold your but hold, hold your place at Matthew six. But we're 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 right now. We're on Psalm one hundred and three, verse nineteen. The Lord has established His throne in the heavens, and His kingdom rules over all. In other words, where the throne. Wherever the throne comes, what's the highest level of authority in any kingdom? The throne. How do we know that? We know that by what the Bible says about Joseph and Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh gave him a ring and said, you'll be equal You'll be equal to me except when I'm on my throne. throne. Yeah. Yeah. That's close enough. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. So I don't know about you. I don't I don't want I don't want to be out in the outer court. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some you know, somebody somebody came um, oh it was several months ago. I was in a I was in a boat repair place, and and, and and there was a guy, and he was a minister, and he he said he was associated with a minister that I had been associated with years ago, you know, that flowed in the Holy Spirit. But he wanted to make his point to me real quick, because we, we Lord, Lord had told us to start church on the beach. We, we're out of court ministry now. In other words, what he's telling me is, I'm not anointed. Now I'm letting you know. I'm in the flesh. Huh. I, 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 I'm out here in the outer court. Where are you? God just said that. He just yeah. used my voice just then. All right. yep. Where are you? All right. uh. Oh, the fire is here. Yeah. Which side of the fire are you on? Hmm. Oh. The same fire that's here right now will consume cancer just like that. Amen. And you'll leave here with none in your body. But uh, that same fire that's here will also bring judgment to another. Yeah. Right. Who chooses not to walk in obedience. Mm. 
So God is asking this question. Which side of the fire are you on? All right, all right. Wow. Good question. The Lord said, Matthew, thank you. Matthew chapter 6. All right. Now I'm in New King James. Verse 5. And when you pray, you shall not be... Notice he didn't say, if you pray, he said, when. Yeah. Uh -huh. Does it normally make this? Yeah, you know, something's going on here. It's, it's, I think a wire or something's pinched or something. We'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, let me try this. All right. Maybe that took care of it? Possibly. Okay. All right. When you pray, he didn't say if you pray. Mm -hmm. when. when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues. Yeah. 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 For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by people. Truly, I tell you, they have their reward in full already. But when you pray, go into your most, go into your room or your most secret place. And when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in. Your, does your translation say the secret place? Actually. Actually, place is not in there in the scripture. Mm -hmm. yeah, secret. It's in italics. If you look at your Bible, you'll see that place is in italics. I'm in New King James. When it, when words are in the italics, it means that it's not in the original. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Translators placed it there. Yeah. So let's read it like it should read. Pray to your father who is, who, who it is, is not even there. It's a talent. Who in secret. the secret. Yes. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Yes. In other words, we say place because we can understand that. And so, do you have a place where you say, what is a secret or a secret place? It's a place where it's you and no other humans. You and God. The most important thing that you need in life is your secret place. If you know Jesus. Yeah. And you've been filled with the Holy Ghost. You need the secret place. That's right. All right. That place needs to be the most important place you get to every single morning your eyes open. Well, I don't know where it is. Ask God to show you where it is for you. It, it When we lived in the country, it was under a gazebo outside in Gauze, Texas. Right now, where we live, I have a I have a travailing chair. And it it go we, we moved and we got our own house. Um, 
able to buy our own house recently, and that travailing chair, it it made the move. Amen. And I go to that travailing chair because when I get to that travailing chair, travail comes out of my belly. Yeah. Hours and hours of travail, 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 birthing, birthing, of birthing today. What's going to happen out here today? We were in here. Several of us were in, in there travailing. C.W., my wife Cindy, and Brother John and myself were travailing in there earlier earlier today. Loud travail coming out of our belly. What, and, or, and, and Brother John, it comes from a weeping travail. Why? Because giving birth to the things of God. Not everything that happens here today was already birthed out ahead of time. Right. Amen. 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 Right. That's why the fire is here. That's why God is here. That's why his miracle work and power is here. And so, notice it says, Pray to your Father who is in the secret place. We'll read it like the translators now. And your Father who is in secret will reward you openly. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Ora para crede. Nere de moras pereia. Nere de mora en reque. Glory para spirei. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. All right. Back to Ezekiel. And above the firmament, over their heads, was the likeness of a throne. I'm in verse 26 of chapter 1. In appearance like a sapphire stone. On the likeness of the throne was a likeness with the appearance of a man high above it. You'll say, who is that? That was God the Father. This is the description that he saw. Also from the appearance of his waist and upward, and upward, I saw, as it were, the color of amber. Amber means glowing metal. And so from, from God the Father's waist upward, his his body appeared as glowing metal. In other words, metal that was, that, that pure metal on fire, glowing. How do we know? Because it says with the appearance of fire all around within it. And so the fire was in the glowing metal. That's what the Father's top half of his being looked like when he saw it. And he couldn't even see his face. And, and then he says, and from the appearance of his waist and downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire with brightness all around like the appearance of a rainbow in a cloud on a rainy day, so was the appearance of the brightness all around it. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. So when I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard a voice of one speaking. In other words, God... is a fire being. And in your secret place, you've got to you've got to have a secret place to get to his secret place. Mm -hmm. Psalm 91 says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. That's not your secret place. You see in Matthew 6 you, 
You've got to go into your secret. You've got to go into your secret. The Lord wants me just to camp there and explain a little bit. Stay with the you, he want, you've got to have a secret place. And when he sees that every morning when you get up, you're going to your secret place, then he will, the Father will meet you and he will take you and bring you into his secret place. No COVID can live there. Come on. Come on. No cancer can live there. Amen. Nothing that can hurt or destroy can live there. Amen. See, you won't catch anything here except healing. That's right. Amen. The fire of God's here. Yes. It'll just it'll just it'll take it and just consume This is yes, yeah, this we're gonna get into the word consume here in a little bit. What it means. I've never actually dug into that word, but I want we're gonna Lord willing we're gonna get into it. it that but when, when God's fire fell, when Elijah called it down and, and water was all over the sacrifice and everything and the fire, it consumed everything. It says that even, even the dust it consumed. In other words, it wasn't even dust left. There was nothing. There was nothing. When God consumes the cancer, there's, there's nothing. It's, it's just, there, it's, there's just nothing. It's like it never was. Yes. Glory to God. Glory. Amen. Amen. When God consumes a, an addiction, it, it's like it never was. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. You mean God can consume? Yeah. He, it, it, and you Amen. wouldn't have to go to rehab? Yeah. If, you, if, you'll, if you'll embrace the fire today, that's what God called it. Embrace the fire. Amen. The question is, will you embrace the fire? God, so you, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Not your secret place. You've got to get to your secret place. Yeah. Clean out. Hmm. What do you mean clean out? Oh God, search me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Uh, yes, right. Oh, search me, oh God. Yeah. Know my heart. Yeah. See if there's any Anything. wicked way yeah. in me. Yeah. Lead me in the way everlasting. Yeah. Lord, remove any wicked or hurtful way from me. Yeah. Lord, search me. Lord, forgive me for failing to love you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Forgive me for failing to love my neighbors myself. Forgive me for having grudges, unforgiveness, jealousy, envy, bitterness, pride, covetousness, discord, anybody. Forgive me as I forgive them. Forgive me, Lord, for harboring bad, ill, malicious, malignant thoughts toward anybody. Forgive me for judging anybody, speaking ill of anybody, speaking malignant words toward anybody, touching the anointing on anybody's life. Oh, God, forgive me. Forgive me for, for pride, arrogance, haughtiness. Forgive me for adultery, fornication. You say, why are you, why are you doing it? Because if you, if you looked at an image, yeah. You committed. Yes. You say, where why no I didn't? Yeah, you did. Jesus said, if you if you look on a woman to lust in your heart, you have already done it. True. Vice versa, woman. Mm -hmm. 
You can be free of homosexuality. Yeah. Yeah. Today. If you want it. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, you're my refuge, my fortress, my God, and you I trust. Surely you deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of my perilous pestilence. You'll cover me with your feathers and under your wings. I shall trust, take refuge. Your truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the error that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that layeth waste in noonday. A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it won't come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the Lord the wicked, because I made the Lord even the most high my habitation. No evil shall be formed, nor shall any plague come nigh. See, COVID is not a disease, it's a plague. That's why people that are getting vaccinated are getting it still. There's no answer for a plague except God. And his, his immunization, his immunization is Psalm 91. His secret place. His secret place. Get yours to get to his. You got to be in his secret place, and then you got to say, You can't say, Well, I claim Psalm 91 today. No, that's not how it works. I will say of the Lord, yeah. I will say, yeah. I will say, yeah. say what you say or words. Yeah. W O R D S S. Yes. No evil shall be for me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Say that. Say, no evil shall befall me. No evil shall befall me. Nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. Say it again. No evil shall befall me. Nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. For you shall give your angels charge over me. They shall keep me in all of my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against the stone. I shall tread upon the lion, the adder, the cobra, the young lion, the dragon, the serpent. I shall tramp under feet of foot, because I set my, my love upon you. Therefore, you will deliver me. You will set me on high, because I know and understand your name. Amen. I shall call upon you. You answer me. You will be with me in trouble. You deliver me and honor me with long, long life. That is the cure. Yes. That Amen. is the answer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You see, God is fire. Is when who did Ezekiel see? He saw a fire beam. Yeah. Uh -huh. What did Daniel see in Daniel chapter 7, starting with verse 9? He says, I kept looking until thrones were set up. Notice it says thrones were set up. That means all of those thrones moved. Every one of them moved. God's throne moves. It's on the move. Amen. Amen. And the Ancient of Days yes. took his seat. That's God the Father. Yes. His vesture was like white snow, and the hair of his head was of his head like pure wool. His throne was ablaze with flames. Yes. Its wheels were a burning fire. Those wheels of fire are here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes. A river of 
fire. I want you to get a picture of this river is here right now today. Oh, a amen. river of fire was flowing and coming out from before him. A river of fire. My mom. Lord says, get down here. Okay. Mark 9 said, go to the New Testament. That's what we'll do. Starting with verse 43. Jesus says, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It's better for you to enter into life main rather than having two hands to go to hell into the fire that shall never be quenched. Verse 44. Where their worm does not die. Every human body has a worm. Notice it says their, T-H-E-I-R, their worm yep. does not die. And when you look up that worm, it's the worm that comes out of a decomposed body. Mm -hmm. But a person that goes to hell, their worm never dies. It's continually crawling in and out of them in torment for eternity. Ooh, the fire of God just got hot. Amen. Hallelujah. In other words, the Lord said, Yes, son. You just preach what I preach. Next verse. Who preached this? Jesus. Jesus. That was kind of weak, just a few people. You mean this you mean the same Jesus for God to love the world? Yeah. Amen. That preached that? Yeah. Amen. For God to love the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Same Jesus preached this? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Amen. Yeah. Next verse that Jesus is preaching. I like Jesus' preaching. Yeah. Amen. You say, who's your favorite preacher? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. That's my favorite. Amen. Who do you want to preach like? Jesus. Jesus. That's I, Amen. I want to preach like Paul. No, not me. I want to preach like Jesus. Because Jesus Amen. never missed it. That's right. Right. Amen. 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 Stay with it. And if you're foot caused you to sin, cut it off. It, it is better for you to enter life lame rather than having two feet to be cast into hell. Into the fire that shall never be quenched. Notice he says this again. Where their worm does not die. And the fire is not quenched. And he's not finished preaching. Stay Next verse. It. Stay with it. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye rather than two eyes to be cast in the hell of fire where their worm does not die. Stay with it. So what side of the fire are you on? The blessing side or the judgment side? Why is God saying that? Because there, there's, there's some individuals here today that have just been stubborn about God's been dealing with you about, about getting out of, of 
some of that sin and those secret things that you've been involved in. And he's giving, he's giving you, listen to this, he's giving you one last chance. Wow, huh? I would have never said that in my own, what I just said. God said it. He's giving you, here it is again, one last chance. And you'll never be able to point your finger on Judgment Day of this preacher for not telling you the truth. Amen. Stay with it. Fire. Everybody say fire. Fire. God is fire. You can't. Well, I, uh, there, there's, you know, somebody gets saved and you feel the Holy Ghost. They're all on fire. And then some older Christian, so to speak, whatever that means comes in. Now, now you, you, you'll settle down. And all. No, no. That person is not, is out of fellowship with God. Yeah. What do you mean they're out of fellowship with God? If they're not on fire, they're, they, they, are, they don't know it because God is fire. Yeah. Yeah. How can you touch fire and not get burned? Yeah. Yeah. I am burned all over today Amen. because I've Amen. touched fire. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verse 3. Then there appeared to them, God's all about fire. Look at this. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire. And one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. John the Baptist said, He that's, that's coming after me, I'm not even worthy to unlatch his his sandals. But he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. If you don't have the fire, you, something, something is wrong with your experience. Everything that you do, now I'm talking to Christians. Everything that you do as a believer is going to pass through fire. The sermon that I'm preaching or God's preaching, I mean, there's times he's just taking over and saying whatever he wants to. And whether I whether I I yield to the Holy Spirit and or not, all of what I'm saying today is going to pass through fire. Mm. Yeah. You say, where is that? Fixing to give it to you. First Corinthians chapter three. I'm in the Amplified Classic, verses thirteen through fifteen. The work of each one will become plainly, openly known, shown for what it is. For the day of Christ will disclose and declare it. Because it will be revealed with fire. Daryl's motive. Anybody who sings a song, does testifies, whatever. Did they do it to be seen? Whatever. It's going to pass through mm -hmm. the fire. Because it will be revealed with fire. And the fire will test. Yeah. And critically appraise the character and worth of the work each person has done. If the work would which any person has built on this foundation, any product of his efforts, whatever survives 
this test, he will get his reward. He said, well, I'm going, to get, I'm going to get my rewards in heaven. Well, you'll get what's left after the fire. If it survives the fire test. Why not embrace the fire now? Why not, why not say all consuming fire consume me now? Consume every part of Daryl McManus. Anything that's not of you, consume, burn it out. Burn it out. Burn it out. Consume. Because you pass through the fire now, it would be nothing to go through the fire then. Because all the wood, hay, and stubble will already be gone. And you'll get your reward. Glory to God. But if any person's work is burned up under the test, he will suffer the loss of it all. Are you hearing this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Losing his reward. Though he himself will be saved, but only as one who has passed through the fire. Yep. We're fixing to close. Turn to Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. When John saw Jesus, it says his head and his hair were like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. Now turn to Hebrews 12, 29. For our God is, God doesn't have fire, he is. For our God is a consuming fire. That word consuming is a Greek word spelled K-A-T-A-N-A-L-I-S-K-O. Kentalisko. Kentalisko means to destroy completely. God is here today to destroy completely sin, disease, All types of ailments. Free anybody of demons that needs to be. Everybody say to destroy completely. To destroy completely. Here's the next part of the definition. To consume utterly. Everybody say to consume utterly. To consume utterly. Holy, holy. Listen to this. To eat up. That fire will eat up any kind of growth today. I don't know. God's hitting gross tumor. And the last part is devour. I'm going to say it again. To destroy completely. To consume utterly, holy, to eat up, <coughs> devour. Oh Lord, oh Lord. I want 
want you just to close your eyes. Will you embrace the fire? Will you embrace the fire? Um, in just a little. Can you pray for Facebook real quick? Oh, okay. I'm going to, we're fixing to evidently go off of Facebook because the fire God is here and there's all kinds of needs. But for those of you that are there, wherever you're at, if you don't know Jesus, right now, ask him to be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Say, I repent of all sin. I turn away from you. I make you the Lord of my life. Now I just, right now, release the fire of God on you right now. Receive it. I think of that fire is destroying everything that's not of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God bless you.